dear students in this lecture we will study about hydrological cycle or water cycle how this cycle takes place this hydrological cycle also known as water cycle it is the normal water recycling system on the earth due to solar radiation water evaporates generally from the sea lakes rivers ponds depressions various water bodies that are present on the surface of earth water from these uh, water bodies it evaporates due to solar radiation water also evaporates from the leaves of plants through transpiration uh, plants through their leaves by the mechanism of transpiration they lose water this water also evaporates due to solar radiations as the evaporated water or we can say that stream it rises in the atmosphere it uh, reaches the upper atmosphere it is being cooled there after cooling it condenses and uh, forms clouds and then returns to the land and sea as precipitation uh, it can reach uh, to the land and sea in the form of rain snow hail and this precipitation falls on the earth's surface as surface water and shapes the uh, earth's surface creating the streams of water that result in lakes and rivers as a part of the water precipitating it penetrates the ground and moves downwards through the incursions forming aquifers finally a part of the surface and underground water leads to sea during this trip water is converted in all phases it is converted into liquid vapor and ice and these processes these are repeated over and again and thus this water cycle continues in nature this is the pictorial uh, this is the diagram of water cycle this is we have water in oceans we have water in vegetation Uh, these plants they absorb water underground water and this water uh, we have fresh water in the form of springs ponds lakes and this water it evaporates due to the incoming solar radiations it evaporates and after evaporation this uh, evaporated water or steam it rises high up into the atmosphere it reaches into the upper atmosphere and here in the upper at atmosphere this water Uh, sorry the steam it cools down and then it condenses to form clouds and these clouds they then return to the surface of earth in the form of in the form of rain in the form of snow in the form of hail so this process this process goes on continuously and it recycles the water present on the earth's surface so this uh, evaporation condensation these processes they occur in a cyclic fashion and we call this as water cycle so what water cycle actually means it is the continuous movement of uh, water through various uh, spheres of the earth by various processes that uh, i have told you in the hydrological cycle the components of hydro hydrological cycle we have we have evaporation we have evapotranspiration we have condensation we have infiltration we have interception we have transpiration we have uh, respiration all these processes they uh, combine they combine to form a cyclic system that we call water recycling system or water cycle or hydrological cycle so this is the mechanism this is the process how this water cycle continues in nature hope you have understood thank you